science is unable to explain how our ancestors were able to obtain completely pure iron without any impurities in the 14th century BC, which cannot be achieved even with the help of modern technology. In this video, you will find many interesting and mysterious archaeological finds that can surprise you. A new unknown species of man finds at the bottom of the aerial lake the oldest face cream and much more. Hi friend, you are on the Curtop channel. Ancient Kiosk with the Leftover Food Archaeologists have found an ancient street kiosk in Pompeii. Under a layer of lava, the food that was sold there was preserved. Residents were offered both raw food and ready-made meals. Experts were able to identify carcasses of ducks, pork, sheep and goat bones, fish and snails. Meat from different animals was added to the fish dishes of mixing different types of meat, says Massimo Ozana, director of the Pompeii Archaeological Park. Scientists already knew about such food stalls, which were mainly visited by commoners, but they managed to analyze food for the first time. In addition, frescoes depicting food products have been preserved in the store. Tourists will be able to look at the kiosk in the spring of 2021 if the situation with the pandemic returns to normal. Stainless Column from India it is known that already in the Middle Ages, people were able to cover all kinds of materials with a thin layer of metal, like gold and silver, and in some ways their metal coatings were better than modern ones. One of the amazing objects with such a metallic coating is the Iron Column in Delhi. This is a 7-meter column, erected in 400 AD, which for one and a half thousand years has almost completely escaped corrosion. The secret is that the composition of the material from which the column is made contains a large amount of phosphorus. It also also saves the metal from rust. Scientists are still hypothesizing how exactly the column was made, but it can be said for sure that the Indians already knew the priming technology 1500 years ago. Unknown human species Homo naledi an unknown human species was discovered in South Africa. In one of the caves, many bones were found similar to humans, but more than 2 million years old. The story begins in South Africa in 2013, when two cavers descended into a system of dolomite caves with the unusual name Rising Star. In one of the branches of the cave, a huge number of human-like bones were found. After taking the pictures, the cavers handed them over to the famous anthropologist Lee Berger. He assembled a team of 60 people to explore this place. The main roles in this expedition were for six slender girls who passed through the narrow passages of the caves and brought the bones from there. A total of 1550 fragments were recovered, and already with a detailed study of this material, scientists found out that they are dealing with a new species of man which they called Homo naledi, from the word star. Archaeologists and scientists were able to create a reconstruction of an ancient man quite accurately. They revealed the main characteristic features, for example, they had curved phalanx on their hands, which suggests that this species could easily climb a tree. The star man had unusually long legs, which indicated he traveled long distances. Homo naledi were short, about one and a half meters, weighing up to 50 kilograms. In the scientific community, the find gave rise to great controversy. At the moment, there was speculation that this is an extinct species of hominite that lived in South Africa about 2 million years ago. Finds at the bottom of the Aral Sea Only 50 years ago, the Aral Lake was the fourth largest in the world. Today, it is an almost dried up pit, at the bottom of which, in lonely islands, the skeletons of former ships are rusting. At one of the sections of the bottom of the dried up Aral Sea, scientists discovered the oldest settlement, presumably existing in the 14th 13th century. Residents of one of the villages found the remains of a settlement at the bottom of a dried up reservoir. An archaeological expedition headed to the place of discovery, which began excavations. To the surprise of scientists, the settlement occupied occupied an area of about 6 hectares. In the outlets of the ancient city, dwelling houses were visible, located in the center to which on one side an industrial zone joined, and on the other a necropolis with mausoleums. According to the found tools, scientists concluded that the population was engaged in agriculture, in particular the cultivation of rice. The found millstones indicated that the grain was ground into flour. Drilling and gas pipeline in ancient China 
Salt was the most important resource in ancient times. It was used to store food long before the invention of freezing. Most of the salt was mined in the sea, but salt water is far from everywhere where people live. In the Chinese province of Sichuan, about 2000 years ago, they learned how to get salt literally out of the ground using advanced drilling technology. The ancient Chinese used a bamboo drill with a heavy drum, which beat rhythmically into the soil and could eventually penetrate to a depth of 600 meters. Sometimes during the drilling process, natural gas escaped from the ground. In the end, the Chinese learned to extract and use it in this way. In China, there was a complex gas pipeline made of bamboo pipes that stretched for many kilometers. Most of the gas was burned and used as a source of fire and heat. The oldest face cream in northern China, archaeologists found the tomb of an aristocrat who lived 2,700 years ago. Buried with him was his face cream, a soft yellowish substance stored in an ornamented bronze jar. Jars of cosmetics have been found in Chinese tombs before, but mostly in women's graves. The new find is the oldest specimen ever found in a male burial. Chemical analysis showed that the cream was made from fat of cattle and moon milk, plague on the walls of limestone and dolomite caves. This ingredient should make the face look porcelain white. Viking Navigation System Mariners in the past had a hard time. Navigation was difficult, often in order to figure out where to sail, you had to turn to the stars, the sun and other unreliable landmarks. For a long time, scientists were puzzled by how the Vikings managed to travel between Norway and Greenland in the Middle Ages. The Vikings sailed 2,500 kilometers across the sea almost in a straight line. In 1948, the so-called Unartag disk, a compass used by the Vikings, was discovered. Before the invention of magnetic compasses, mariners had to use a sundial, which showed time and directions using the rays of the sun. They could not be used at night or in bad weather, but the Viking disk could work even in low light. It was a very complex sundial with many markings. In the text contemporary to the disk, it is described that some king of magical crystal was used in his work. The researchers believe that this is true. A certain crystal could actually help to use the compass in bad and dim light. The accuracy of the Unartag disk is comparable to the modern navigation systems. Experiments have shown that it is wrong by a maximum of 4 degrees. Turovich Needle the needle of Turovic, or as it is called in Serbia, Turovicova igla, named after amateur archaeologist Stepan Turovic, who discovered an unusual find in 1999 on the Hizar Hill near the Serbian town of Leskovic, is a rod of pure iron without any ore impurities. The unusual artifact, dating back to the 14th century BC, is a kind of a technological miracle, since modern metallurgy has not yet reached the stage of development that allows the production of iron of this purity. Among other things, the discovery inspired the supporters of an alternative theories, according to which, in the distant past, there were civilizations on Earth that were more advanced than ours. Needle, 64 and a half centimeters long, which has lain in the ground for more than 33 centuries, has not the slightest trace of corrosion. An analysis carried out by the Belgrade Institute for Nuclear Research Winca in the scientific laboratory of the Smederevo Steelworks, Sardia, showed that it was made of the purest iron without any admixtures of foreign metals, which makes a find exceptional on a global scale. At the same time, the possibility of making an artifact from the so-called meteorite iron, which contains nickel, but it is not in the needle and, moreover, from natural iron, since iron of such purity does not exist in nature, was ruled out. A new shock ensued when using an ultra-modern X-ray image at Sartera, it was established that the needle was made of iron of ideal density, without cracks, traces of corrosion and cavities that were present even on objects manufactured under pressure of several thousand tons. Try to imagine what a revolution the discovery of a formula for permanent corrosion protection will bring out. Throne of the Ramses II one of the greatest pharaohs of ancient Egypt is considered the son of Seti I and Queen Toya, Ramses II. His reign was roughly 1279-1213 BC. The people of Egypt loved and revered their pharaoh, and as a sign of respect, they awarded him the honorary title of Anaktu, which means victor. A large number of temples, monuments, etc. were erected in his honor. 
The ruins of one of the temples were discovered by archaeologists during excavation in the suburbs of Cairo. But it was not just a temple, it was a place where important religious ceremonies were held. Examination of the ruins has shown that the temple was erected during the reign of Seti II, but it was still used more than once after his reign. Scientists believe that it was one of the most important temples of the pharaoh, since artifacts discovered during excavations indicate that ceremonies were held in it constantly, that is, almost throughout the era of Ramses II. But the discovered temple is not the most important thing. An unusual find was made a little later, when archaeologists managed to excavate the main ceremonial hall in which the pharaoh's throne, or rather a part of the throne, was preserved. This is a small elevation in the center of the hall. Steps lead upstairs. In the center of this elevation was the throne of the pharaoh, as scientists say, but unfortunately the throne itself was not found. Many artifacts were found in the ceremonial hall, such as earthen vessels, amulets, stones on which Hiram glyphic text was applied, as well as the famous amulets in the form of scarabs. Excavations always take place in suspense and expectation of a miracle, and in most cases this is how they end. Who knows what else will be discovered underground by archaeologists tomorrow? Thanks for your views! Bye everyone!